Hi everyone, our subject today is polydipsia and pediatrics. Basics. Characterized polydipsia characterized by chronic excessive uh, thirst which results in an increased intake of water may be defined as greater than 100 ml per kg per day in adult and maximum more than 6 liter per day. Polydipsia often leads to polyuria, a condition characterized by increased frequency of urination. Pathophysiology, diabetes insipidus is defined as uh, the passage of the greater than uh, 50 ml per kg, maximum 3 liter, over 24 hour of diluted urine. Urine osmolality, less than 300 milliosmol per liter. Etiology can be central neurogenic or peripheral nephrogenic. Central diabetes insipidus is characterized by a decreased secretion of antidiuretic hormone, ADH. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is characterized by resistance to ADH. With sickle cell disease, sickling in renal medulla result in inability to concentrate urine. Primary polydipsia is related to excessive fluid intake and is not a problem with the uh, antidiuretic hormone. History General history, onset of symptom, acute, chronic, recurring, quantity of fluid taking each day, any unusual method for uh, satiety, nighttime awaking to urinate, drink, usually absent in psychogenic polydipsia, history of poor growth and or development, prior episode of severe dehydration, recent head trauma or neurosurgery, History of Caesar, chronic medical problems like sickle cell disease, chronic Disney disease, diabetes mellitus. Physical examination, general complete examination, often normal, abnormally sleep or lethargic, assessment of volume status, sunken eyes, a dry mucous membrane, reduced tears, weak pulses or prolonged capillary refill. Diagnostic test and interpretation, initial lab test, complete electrolyte and metabolic panel urine analysis, fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin, H, uh, hemoglobin A1C, plasma and urine osmolality, a plasma and urine electrolyte, 24-hour urine collection can be used to measure degree of polyuria as measured of intensity of polydipsia. Neuroimaging CT or MRI is uh, if intracranial abnormalities suspected. Water restriction test can be performed to evaluate for diabetes insipidus. Exogenous antidiuretic hormone can be administered to patient with the suspected nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Differential diagnosis, Langerhans cell histocytosis, sickle cell anemia, hypercalcemia, hydrogenic, diuretics, alcohol, lithium. Treatment with the pre-hospital uh, like uh, uh, blood glucose uh, control, intravenous fluid if dehydrated, medication for central diabetes in Cividas, DDAVP, uh, oral or uh, intranasal or uh, subcut okay low uh, another uh, treatment with the low solute diet hydrochlorothiazide breast milk prefer to formula nephrogenic diabetes insipidus also dismopressine low solute diet hydrochlorothiazide diabetes mellitus treated with insulin Admission criteria, inpatient ward admission criteria, a new onset diabetes mellitus or insipidus, significant electrolyte abnormality, significant dehydration, critical care admission criteria, altered mental status, diabetic ketoacidosis, and severe electrolyte abnormalities. Issue for referral, polydipsia following neurosurgery should be followed by the neurosurgical team. 
a new diabetes mellitus or insipidus diagnosis should be admitted to the hospital for further management and education. A new psychogenic polydipsia diagnosis should be referred to the psychiatry for evaluation of the underlying mental health issue. Peers and pitfall. The most common cause of polydipsia is diabetes mellitus. Water deprivation tests are not prefer performed in newborn or very young infant. Patient may present to the emergency department with seizure, coma, or sign of cerebral edema. Neonates do not have an intact thirst mechanism, making management difficult. Response to dysmoprosine does not always differentiate central and progenic diabetes insipidus. Thank you for your listening.